Hello and what is up? Welcome to Prison Architect. Welcome to Corn Puff Penitentiary. Welcome to episode 9, which is also known as Today is my only day off, but my bosses won't leave me alone, so I haven't started recording until noon. I'm gonna put that in the thumbnail. Yeah. If you look, you will notice that some gnomes have come along and they built this kick-ass security room as well as two more patrol uh, offices so that way um, we can have more parole meetings which is good get more people cranked out of here which is really good uh, and also these don't have lights so no profiling will be going on no racism no sexism well and maybe a little sexism because it is a men's prison so I mean they're gonna know um, the gnomes got the um, got the extra cells built so we now um, we now have completed the grant for cell block B it's pretty pretty neat um, and uh, yeah they also gave us sixty six thousand dollars almost sixty seven thousand dollars I mean, those gnomes really worked hard. No, actually, actually I did. <laughs> for once, for once in this whole series, I had my brain in my head hole and it was working and I got stuff done in this crazy little prison and then if you watch my vlog, the power, the, the power, the, <laughs> the power flickered and I lost everything. So. Oh, another thing that happened while you guys were gone was Kanye, Buckwell, Wyatt, whoever the crap this is, Palmer, Ashby, I had a bad feeling about him, and this guy who won't look at me, Van, Van Dyke, I guess, um, they got into a huge fight in the canteen. There's no longer blood here, but there was blood everywhere. It was, it was a show, and it was like the first time that something cool actually happened while uh, I was recording and I'm like dang it dang it I lost it all I missed it all but at least the game saved you know you can't ask for everything so um so okay I feel very together right now I actually have my timer going yay me um, and I came up with an end goal because if any of you guys have played this you know that you can just play it forever and ever and ever and you can make your prison as big as you want you can expand you can buy the land around here um, and you can just I mean you really you literally could play it as long as you want to but we can't do that we can't have prison architect episode number 3502 nobody wants that so anyway what I want to do is play until we get to what is it I wrote it down 200 prisoners so we've got 150 prisoners to go and um, after that we're gonna call it a wrap and move on to something else what else I don't know maybe you guys can help me figure that one out in a poll or something so alright so Kanye and Buckwell are still in trouble that's not news to me I will be honest what what do you want? Spirituality? No, literacy, of course. Um, and then for today's goal, I want to un <clears throat> I want to unlock intelligence. Uh, there we go. As well as surveillance. Excuse me? Is there a reason? Oh. I'm not sure. What just happened? Why? Hold on. What? Is our chief dead or something? Requires a chief, costs a thousand dollars training. Why isn't it like doing anything though? Oh, I see. Because we're also researching body armor, which is linked to armory, which is linked to security, blah, 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 blah. So after body armor and tasers are unlocked, we can also unlock intelligence <clears throat> and surveillance. So that'll be good. Um, because once we get intelligence unlocked you can actually have little sneaky spies that you can recruit like um like I really want to get rainwater or whatever what's his name rainwater rain cloud maybe he was released a bunch of them were released too once we started the um the dark patrol room thing 
uh, I think I think like four or five people had early release, which is why well one reason why we have so much money right now. So anyway, moving on. So I really want like Mick Smith or maybe Dumber here if he looks nice um, to be one of our I forgot what they're called. Uh, oh, confidential informants. I want them to be one of our confidential informants so that way they can give us a sitch on who's doing what and who is a snitch because uh, in this game snitches really do get stitches so um, I also want to why is that blinking did you, see, did you guys see that shower head blink anyway I really want to get a um, protective custody win going on so that way the snitches can live their lives in prison in peace and quiet I don't think that I'm going to be doing death row death row is a total pain in the butt if you haven't played this game before um, because not only like is the zoning kind of awkward and you have to have everything set up just freaking right uh, but you hardly ever get a death row inmate in so I don't know it's just doesn't do it for me. Hey, another page that I can't read. Excellent. Punishment. Protection. Reform. I have no idea. Let's see. Murder. Penalty. Drug. No. Drug. Some, some days with, I've, I have, <laughs> I don't know. Like I said in the last episode, I swear to God. I, I, stop it. I am capable of reading doctors and lawyers handwriting and I can't read that crap. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I feel lost and confused. Hey, at least the chief is doing something. Can somebody else do something? Shoot, it's getting cold again. Is anybody cold? Raise your hand if you're cold. Um, he's fine. Who are you? Brad Jones. Okay, he this this guy does need warmth. How about you? Uh, you're okay. You need privacy. Well, I mean, you should have thought of that before you did whatever you did. What? Did, who was it again? Who the hell was it? I don't know. Well, he should have thought of that before he robbed the bank and got caught by Batman or whatever. Let's see. Programs. Something goes unlocked. Let's see. Does anybody want any, like, uh, behavioral therapy? No, of course not. That would be silly. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Oh, cool! Look at that! The pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. 1 in Q, 12 have finished, and 6 pass. That's 50%. That's 1 in 2. I guarantee you Chafer was not one of those. Mm-mm. No way. Okay. And look at this. Parole. 1 in Q, 10 finished, 9 passed. I mean, I'm sorry, but we have textbook, well not textbook, a textbook prisoner would not be passing parole all the time. But we got some, we have some good guys in here. Except for Chafer, except for Lovers, and except for, um, freaking Kanye. Alright, I know that's not his name, that's just what I'm gonna call him. Alright, so we got a lot of people here in security. Uh, what just happened? Why did we lose a bunch of money in body armor? What's going on? What? Does it look different to you? Uh, oh, they have the vests, like the armed guard. Okay. Alright. Sure. Build a CCTV monitor and place uh, CCTV cameras. So. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so normally. Alright. If anybody. <laughs> if anybody knows me in real life. They know that I have my phone with me at all times. Um, I, I mean, you guys know I work a lot of jobs and I am very, very careful uh, to not miss a, what's the word, a frantic phone call or, or a text from a friend um, who needs help. So anyway, I have it on me all the time. Um, you know, even at work, unless it's, unless, you know, phones need to be off or whatever. And I prefer to have it on my left side. I don't know what it is about that, but I do. But unfortunately, the left side is right under the mic. So, 
I'm not going to bother you guys with that, but it is on my right side. So if you have your headphones on or your earbuds in or whatever, you can probably hear my phone and I'm sorry, but that's just honestly never going to change because I'm just one of those people. I won't say I'm a control freak, but I don't ever want to miss a phone call, um, a, an important one, because I don't have it on me. And that's my cat too. So if you hear some meowing in your headphones, there we go. Okay, I've got to focus on the game. Come on. All right, so let's see, tasers, we're working on that. A CCTV monitor. I think you may have to have intelligence to have the CCTV monitor. Uh, but I could be wrong and we have prisoners coming. Ah! All men on deck. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, CC, yeah. Requi no, you require surveillance. Um, so... Let's see. Surveillance. Okay, I think that is on the list. I think that's either... It's before or after intelligence. It has to be one of those. So... Alright. Oh, go- What? Ah! Knives in the potatoes. I mean... How else are you gonna cut potatoes? With a spoon? With your face? I just don't understand. It makes no sense at all. A two dollar consulting fee. Sure. Um... What? Oh! Ooh! Yay! New people! Poison! Why is there poison in the kitchen? That is not all right. Had to, had to move my face around a bit. I still don't like it, my face. <laughs> but <laughs> there's not much you can do about that. Okay, so we've got McEv McEvroy. McEvroy. I used to work with the with the McElroy. He was a nice guy. <gasps> this guy is a snitch. Oh no, he's gonna die. They are so going to die. Okay, keep an eye out for uh, Aston Hurdley because he is on the ish list for sure. Shoot. Okay. All right, so what can we do while we are waiting um, for the tasers to be unlocked? I think maybe we could take another grant. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Cell block C. Uh, raise your prisoner capacity to a hundred. Alright, um, what is the advance payment? Ten grand? Okay, well we want to do that at some point anyway. So, there we go. Cool! Alright, it is dinner time! This is very, very good. Let's put, um, since we're, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a few more people here today visiting. Ew, don't want to put the table too close to the bed. Ah, no. Here, so, what if... Oh, I think this will work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we'll put that there, and then we'll put the two, or the four benches here. Two on each side. Um, hey, Levers, you not hungry? It's okay, I understand. Sometimes I'm just not hungry either. Okay. What? You're just milling around. Come on. Uh-oh. Something's happening. What's going on? Oh no! They're already beating him up! Oh, somebody do something! Get the dog on him! Ugh. But, and I, look at look at this. Kenna Wells is just eating. <laughs> look, whatever. People are unconscious around me. And this guy, John Brown as well. They're just like, ah, this is another day in prison. Just eating bacon with my spoon. Jeez. Ugh, these people are animals. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's still eating. <laughs> yeah, he's a man of my own heart, I guess. Alright, so... Oh, oh. Kevin Van Dyke has been... Ooh, has been up to maximum security. Now, we don't have a maximum security wing, and I don't plan on it. But if we have to make one for him, then so be it. Um, let's go ahead and get started on our little... Gosh, there's blood everywhere! This is not the prison I know and love! <laughs> Jeez. I do want to get started on our protective custody wing. So, let's, um... Where should we put that? 
where would it go nicely? Actually, I think it would go really well right here uh, because there's not a whole lot going on down here and they have to have their own kitchen and everything else and uh, canteen. Maybe not their own kitchen, but definitely their own canteen. Um, and I think that there is enough space there for several cells in a canteen and, um, you know, maybe they could have their own chapel time or something. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So, foundation. Alright, so we have some concrete going on. And sometimes I like to make uh, the protective... Stop it. The protective custody wing, like uh, brick or concrete instead of what everything else is. But in this case, we're just going to keep it same old, same old, because I like that. We've got these two jerks. Freaking Van Dyke, who just got here, by the way, didn't he? And then Roach. Lord! Ugh. Nobody can behave. Like, I think... I don't remember since I lost the last one. But I think in the last episode that I actually got recorded... And a fork. Um, I was totally surprised at how well it was going. At how... Um, how... What's the word? How well behaved everyone was and now all of a sudden people are freaking out and it is just severely not okay and I blame it all on levers yep he is a pain in the butt and you two are bad you are new and you're bad we'll put the power station um, I guess here all right and then we will also Ah, I'm doing the money thing again. Bad. Okay, that's enough for now. Put the power station there. Um. So yeah. So once they once they get that wall in, then or deconstructed, I suppose. What? Oh come on, Simon Green. What is your problem? Okay, we got some mail. Nope opened. Who is it from? Uh, maybe you can't tell once it's been up. Uh, yeah, just throw it. Just throw it. Alright? I don't like your family either. It's not very nice. Alright, so this is going to be sort of the uh, the hallway to the protective custody area here. So let's uh, get another wall going. And we'll leave a little space for a door. Okay, so let's see, door goes there. And then um, we'll have a jail door. Let's see. Hmm. We'll put one here and then here and go back to. Yeah, there. Okay. Because what happens is if you don't have a little airlock here, then the protective dip, 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 the protective custody people leave, <laughs> and then they go they go die. So it's really important to have this part staff only, and then have all of this protective custody only. At least that's what I've learned. Um, I'm not the best at this game, but I'm not like awful. I don't know. Maybe I am. Who knows? Hoover, what in the Palmer? What are you? Why are you sharing a chair with the? Okay, whatever. Okay, so Palmer's practicing being a teacher, which is I. You know what? Good for him. Go Palmer. You know what? He because he knows he's gonna get out one day. He knows he's gonna make parole and he's gonna make something of himself and he's going to educate those who don't know how to be educated. <laughs> he's gonna help these kids. Yeah. I'm excited for him. Damn straight. How is the plumbing situation? Oh, the plumbing situation is perfect. So let's put some more toilets. Um, <laughs> the toilets in the canteen, right? Why not? Um, let's put some more toilets up here. Like, yeah, that many. So that way they can look people straight in the eye while they're taking a dump and people are trying to eat and it'll be really awkward, but I mean, whatever. They'll deal. People will live. I don't know. I think I should probably... Let's see. I think we should run it... Yeah, this way. 
I don't know. I don't know why. I just feel like that's a thing we should do. Oh, yeah, let's go way out there. Well, just in case I need to do, like, a, uh, a toilet. Whoa. A toilet expansion. Hmm. Let's get a luxury cell going on. We'll put, let's see, how would they fit best here? So if we did this, and, uh, all right, we're just going to start with this. Okay, so, yep, so that comes, I believe, with uh, brick walls, so we're going to go ahead and switch that to concrete real fast, because I like consistency. So, all right, objects, no, materials, no, deployment! There we go. So this is staff only, and then this is protective custody. No, that's super max. <laughs> protective custody is yellow. Jeez. All right. So we're gonna get that going here, and plumbing. Hmm. Plumbing could be a bit of a bitch. Ah, there's the snitch. There's our snitch. Ex law enforcement. Oh, he's gonna die if we don't get him into uh, that protective custody soon. And what you could do is with that open. Um, where'd it go? No! Oh, for Christ's sake. <laughs> it's, it's the irony of me not being able to find intelligence just kills me. Okay. But anyway, if you have, um, intelligence and informants open, if there's a little yellow circle around anyone in solitary, then you can recruit them as an informant and then they can tell you what they know. And then I believe that they, I don't think they automatically become a snitch, but um, they, they do, their chances of being killed for being a snitch, if people find out, do go up quite significantly. So, anyway. Um, rooms. That's a cell, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that that's still protected custody. Yes, it is. So we need to, let's see, where's our snitch? See up here? Yes. So we need him to go here. So can someone please, there we go. So someone, is, a, a guard should be taking him to, I'm sorry, I just got a text that was a slight emergency, so we may have to wrap this up fairly soon. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. A guard, yep, it's going to take him down to uh, protective custody, so that way he will not get his dumber butt kicked. Hmm. So that's good. But we do need to build him a canteen so he can eat and stuff. So, let's see. Canteen. Um, rooms? Canteen. Looks like this. Why do we have two? Oh, the staff canteen. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> now I remember. It doesn't need to be super big, I don't think. So, alright, so put that there. And then, er, would you, a serving table. Uh, I don't want to put it there. Or do I? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, put that there, and then there. Uh, give it a space, and then there. Okay, so, wait, no, that's wrong. Table. Wait, I put too many spaces there. Ugh. There we go. That's good. That's good. Anyway, uh, that way, if we get another one in, we can just put, like, the table here, and then a bench here, and then they can sit and face the wall if they're shut in, um, like someone else I know. But, you know, I've heard she's pretty cool, so I'm not going to judge her for being a shut-in. So, there you go. Um... Okay, whoa, whoa. We should probably have a sink somewhere in here. Um, okay, why does he still have no water? Can someone please explain? No, but seriously, why? What? Oh, is that a hot water pipe? Did I freaking put a hot water pipe there? I think I did. I did. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna dismantle that and this. Okay, and then we're gonna put a small pipe through here. 
Okay, good. There we go. Now he'll have water. Well, um, I've I've got to wrap things up here, uh, just because I've got some stuff to do and uh, slight emergency to handle. No big deal. Nobody panic. I'm on it. Um, but I'm kind of excited because we've got our protective custody wing going here. And we unlocked intelligence, which is super neat. Uh, we accepted another cell block, uh, or another grant, a cell block C. So that way we can raise our prisoner capacity up to 100. And then we'll be halfway to our 200 prisoner goal. Life is good. Yes, I love it. It's cool. And we got a new power station in. We may have done something else too. Oh yeah, we're um, working on tasers, I think. And now our guards have body armor. And um, we also got to see a lot of blood, which is... I mean, I can't say that I'm proud of it, but hey, it's a prison. Things are going to happen. It's just, it's just the way things work sometimes, and that's okay. So, alright. Well, thank you very, very, very much for watching. If you stuck around this long, it means a ton um, that you like Corn Puff's penitentiary. Sometimes Corn Puff doesn't even like her own penitentiary, but what are you going to do? So, uh, go ahead and click the like button if you enjoyed watching it. And if you're new around here, you can always subscribe because... I don't know if you I mean, if you enjoy it and you want to stick around um that'd be cool too ow um so you can also follow my twitter account i do polls and just random thoughts and all kinds of stuff it's not it's, it's not just you know spamming people it's just it's 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 a social thing for me it really is twitter is probably my favorite uh, social network platform at this point so all right I hope you guys have a fabulous afternoon or night or evening or morning or whatever it might be. And as always, keep going, keep laughing, and I will see you next time.